All right, hey, welcome back everybody. Here we are in the Blue Mountains on a stunning summer's day. And what we're gonna show you in this video is a knot passing technique. This is an accompanying video to one you may have already seen in our rescue series where we looked at passing a joining knot in two system ropes on a raise. So this time what we're gonna look at, at is passing a joining knot in system ropes through a descent control device on a lower. In this case, the descent control device we're using is a CMC Rescue 3D, which is a modified Barak type device. Doesn't matter though, it can be any type of friction device, okay, that we're using during our operation. The technique we're going to look at doesn't really have a broadly well-known name, but we like to call it an end of rope technique, uh, where we're literally using a segment of the rope on the high side of the system. It doesn't have to be the very end. It can be any segment of rope. So it's pretty simple. And we'll look at that in a moment when we come to it, okay? Effectively, what we're doing is using a two to one system to pass a joining knot through a friction device, simply using a section of rope, a prusik, or any type of rope grab, a couple of carabiners, and not much more than that. So it's arguably the simplest system out there. And as you're about to see, very quick and easy to put into place. So let's have a look at it how it works in detail, the end of rope, not pass on a lower. So here we are on our lower uh, mid-operation and the situation that we knew was going to eventuate is we've met a joining bend in the operational ropes. We've joined them because we didn't have a rope long enough for the operation, so we've joined two of them up here uh, to achieve our task. But of course, we've got to pass the joining bend through the descent control device. In this instance here, you'll see the joining bend is a modified version of a Flemish bend, or it's effectively a figure eight bend. In another one of our videos, we're going to explain why we do it like that, rather than using the time-honoured but somewhat flawed double fisherman's bend. There's more advantages in this. Let's look at that in another video. So my mission at the moment is to effectively pass this joining bend through this device. The first thing I need to do because I'm using the 3D and it's not an auto-locking auto -locking device, is I need to tie the device off. If it was auto-locking, say like a CMC clutch, I could just break the device and let that hold the load. Let's tie the 3D off here using the recommended technique. Okay, and I've now taken control of the load and I can start doing stuff. Let's see what happens next. Okay, now we've taken control of the load and we can do stuff. I'm going to put a rope grab on my working loaded rope in front of the descent control device. This can be whatever sort of rope grab you've got. In this instance, I'm going to use a red CMC Prusik. It can be a mechanical rope grab, doesn't matter, okay? We effectively just want a point of capture here that I can put my two to one on. So I'm going to start to reeve the Prusik on now. All right, now we've got our rope grab established out in front here. What I'm gonna do is take a segment of the remainder of the rope, making sure that I've got enough slack in here to achieve a two to one that I can extend out to send the, the joining bend in front of the descent control device. Remember, it can be the very end of the rope or a segment of the rope, it doesn't matter so much. Uh, if the end of the rope is presenting itself, just use that. All I'm gonna do here is take a bite of rope I'm going to put a terminal knot in this section of rope. In this case, a figure eight on a bite, connect it into the anchor. Pass that segment through my rope grab. And then bring that back, creating a two to one loop just here and put it either through another descent control device if I've got access to one in this case, I don't. I'm going minimalist. So I'm basically going to put a Munter hitch, Munter or Italian hitch in here. And I'm going to tie the Munter hitch off with a half hitch and then an overhand knot.
There we go. Let's see what happens next. All right, now I've got my two to one end of rope component in place here. It's tied off, or if I'm using a device in there, it would be locked or whatever in uh, accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Um, I'm going to release the main descent control device just here, in this case the 3D, incrementally unwinding, lowering the load onto the 2 to 1. So the DCD is now slack. I'll take the rope out, move the joining bend past the descent control device, re reeve the device. And there we are. All right, so I'm sure the next stage is pretty obvious. What we're going to do is unlock the back end of the two to one just here, whether it's a device or in this case a tied off monitor hitch, take control of it and lower the entire system forward so that the, the descent control device loads up and this part then becomes redundant. Okay, so we're going to unlock this, lower everything forwards so we lower the system load back onto the descent control device. All right, so we're pretty done. As you can see, the system rope is loaded up again. The descent control device is ready to go. The joining bend is now downhill of the device. So we're set. All we need to do is remove the end of rope two to one. So I'll strip that off, unlock the device and continue with the operation. I'm sure you will have realized looking at this video that if you have enough personnel, so if there's a few people who can do things, we don't necessarily have to tie off elements, particularly like the Munta where I tied it off on the back of the two to one. If someone can man that while we're doing the knot pass or the bend pass through the device, it's going to speed the operation up even more so than me doing everything, having to tie everything off. So practice it a few times. Lengths and system gain are important with this. You can run out of rope sometimes. So make sure you practice it both on your own, operating the system doing tie-offs but working with somebody else and you'll find it's a super quick and very simple technique. Alright, so I'm going to strip this off and continue with the operation.